Hey guys, what is going on? So Polaroid is actually making projectors now. I thought Polaroid was like a camera company or something. Well, nonetheless, they sell projectors and that means we have to check them out. So they have an ultra short throw model now and I'm excited to take a look at this because a lot of people have requested to see ultra short throw models on the channel, but a few questions come to mind. How does this stack up against other projectors on the market? Is it worth the money? Let's find out right now in today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. We do monthly giveaways and you can have a chance to win something every month. This month we have a ViewSonic PX706 HD projector. It's great for hardcore gamers. It has a low lag latency and it also has a crystal clear image. Anyone can join. It's just a couple clicks to get in that. So make sure that you check the link down below in the description. Let's jump into this projector. So coming out of the package, you will receive the U100 HD projector itself, a mouse pad. Not really sure why they would include that, but I can use one anyways. A remote controller, an HDMI cable with an L-shaped connector, a power cable, a power brick, and a mouse. Oh, now I get it. They included a mouse pad for the mouse because this projector can easily be operated using a mouse if you wanted to browse the web. So the U100 projector is an ultra short throw model which means that you can have this literally inches away from the screen you're projecting it on and get a 100 inch image in your home theater. On the back side you have a variety of connection inputs including an audio output, two HDMI ports, two USB ports, a landline input, audio video component ports, and the power port. On the top side you will find a smooth metallic touch panel with many buttons such as up down left right navigation volume up and down, a menu button, and a power button. Right behind the touch buttons is the short throw projector lens which is aimed vertically upwards so you can have this as close as possible to the screen. On the bottom of the projector there are three feet which will be used to adjust the projected image on screen. Now I will say this, it's much harder to adjust a projector just using the feet than using a built-in digital four corner keystone like other previous models I've reviewed. So be prepared to spend a few minutes trying to get this image as straight as possible. Once we got the image up on screen I was able to see it pretty clearly even in a well-lit room due to the thousand lumens this model is outputting. This projector is using an LED bulb so you can expect to get anywhere up to 30,000 hours of playback time and for those of you new to projectors that is a lot. After closing the blinds and blackout curtains the image became much more visible in a dark room so I would definitely recommend using this at nighttime or with some blackout curtains. The operating system is pretty simple and includes some built-in apps such as Netflix, YouTube, and Google. However you still can download other apps using the Play Store. The image looks very clear at 100 inches for an 800p native resolution projector but one thing to take note of is that this projector cannot produce a 16 by 9 aspect ratio so while this may be a deal breaker for some the image quality still does look great as you can see it would not reach from side to side on my projector screen however my screen is made for 16 by 9 images so it really depends on the screen that you're using for this model this projector does have dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in so you can easily connect to the internet stream movies or connect to a Bluetooth sound system while enjoying your content movies looked extremely clear at 100 inches in my home theater with this projector however it can get up to 180 inches in size at only a few feet away so no matter what size room you want to have your home theater in this will get the job done so a lot of my friends say that they want to have a home theater in their house or their living room but they don't have the space in the room that they want to have the projector in well with this model you don't need a lot of space to have this thing hooked up the image quality looks very good up on a big screen and movie playback was very crisp and clear as you can see the colors pop great and the contrast looks very well as for gaming on this projector you can easily connect an HD HDMI to your favorite game console and this projector can handle it. It does support 4K playback so if you have an Xbox One X or a PS4 Pro there's no need to worry this projector will be able to run it. The lag was barely noticeable and I didn't feel any kind of delay that threw my gaming experience off in any way. I think this is a pretty good model and honestly for the price tag you can't really go wrong. I'll leave a link down below in the description so you guys can check it out for yourselves if you want to see what this thing is all about. It's on sale now. This is almost half the price as most of the other ultra short throw models out on the market and it has a ton of great features including the Wi-Fi and Android operating system and the ability to get a huge image without taking up barely any space. However, the keystone adjustment could be a bit better and the aspect ratio may throw some people off. To me, it's not a big deal, but I'd love to know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Let me know, does the aspect ratio bother you or would you be happy having this for the price on it? And I hope that this video helped anyone out there thinking about buying this model so you can get a feel for what you're purchasing before you purchase it. So if this video was helpful, please hit that thumbs up button down below. And until next time, I will catch you guys later. You gotta rotate. Peace.